Mr. Timur Suleimanov, first Deputy Chief of Staff of the President of the Republic of Kazakhstan and Chairman of MT12, Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Yoela, Director General of the WTO, Deputy Directors General of the WTO, fellow ministers, ambassadors, ladies and gentlemen. First, allow me to associate with the statements on behalf of the OECS, CARICOM, and the ACP, and embrace them as my very own. I greet you on behalf of the government and people of Antigua and Barbuda, who today participated in MC12 at a most crucial time, a most critical time for the multilateral trading system, because like all other WTO members, we have a stake in ensuring that this MC12 is a success. It is also imperative for us to be part of a process of rebuilding the credibility of the WTO and to restore trust between and amongst its members. Multilateralism, globalization, trade openness and, tr and global governance have all come under pressure of late, and sometimes rightly so. Due to the widening gaps between those who are benefiting from these processes and those of us who continue to feel marginalized. However, we need more collective action, not less, more, to help solve the many global issues that confront us. For Antigua and Barbuda, like many other small island states, we have become much too familiar with the destructive forces of natural disasters and climate change. Furthermore, the digital, the digital technological divides, uneven development, indebtedness, inequality in narrow economic structures are not just matters of academic discourse. They represent our real daily challenges. Our participation in the multilateral trading system and our membership in this WTO are predicated on the assumption that they can assist us in overcoming several of our developmental hurdles while integrating more fully and meaningfully into the global economy in a manner which improves the lives of our people. Antigua and Barbuda is today participating in MC12 with a clear mission of inserting ourselves into the decision-making process on important global issues, issues such as concluding a balanced and meaningful fishery subsidy agreement with sustainability and development at its very core. Finding an intellectual property solution to expand, expand global access to COVID-19 vaccines, as well as a WTO response to the pandemic. Concrete outcomes on agriculture, including a ministerial decision to shield purchases made by the World Food Programme from export restrictions and a comprehensive ministerial declaration to give the WTO political guidance for years to come. In all of these endeavors, we will also intend, or we also intend, to ensure that we keep development at the epicenter, at the very core of the WTO's work. Additionally, colleagues, Antigua and Barbuda has a profound interest in the reform and optimal functioning of the WTO. As one of the smallest members, if not the smallest, to successfully utilize the WTO's dispute settlement system, we see reform as crucial. We agree with the sentiments that reform must be transparent, open, and inclusive. We also support calls for the urgent restoration of a two-tiered dispute settlement system. Given our past experience with the DSS, and in fact, we are still awaiting the respondents' compliance with the ruling of the appellate body. Reform must also focus on strengthening the procedures for compliance with the rulings and recommendations of the panel and the appellate body reports. I cannot, my dear colleagues, and I dare say I will not, end my brief intervention without reference to the Small Economies Work Program. We in Antigua Barbuda are exceptionally pleased at the speed with which delegates in Geneva were able to conclude work on the ministerial decision on the Small Economies Work Program. 
and we look forward to discussions post MC12 on just how we can further meaningfully and emphasize meaningfully integrate small volume economies into the global economic structure. Antigua and Barbie looks forward to a successful conference. I further pledge our utmost contributions to constructive and meaningful deliberations. I thank you.